I am moved to teach uh, because it's, uh, it gets under your skin. It's something that up until I was in my mid-30s, I did art for work. And I said, oh, I, I really, when I play, I'd like to just not do art. And then all of a sudden, I was introduced to plein air. Plein air, they call it. And being outside was one key. And the thrill of creating something, having the magic happen on the paper, is, is so exciting. And then all of a sudden, I had something to teach. My favorite part of painting outdoors would be composition. I love the opportunity to get outside and really it's fun to revision, to see things in a new way, to sit down and look and think about shapes and colors and compositions and shadows and to try to capture that just takes me to a different place in my brain and in my life than I spend most of my time. Well people wonder why you like to paint outdoors and because you have to deal with all the elements but that's part of the joy of it of hearing the sounds and the smells and um, and, and, and you take it all in it's just great. Painting outside with Doris um, has been a delight because last summer I was petrified of the idea of painting live. I've always painted from photographs and I went outside and with Doris I had a magical experience. One of the joys of painting is you have fruits of your labor. You have something that you can look at and look back at and say, I remember that day. Doris has such a lovely, friendly way about her and it's always so encouraging and I like that. It's She's always positive. I've, admired her when I first got to know her I was just amazed at how she connected with people on any level and has always done amazing things with them. Doris has the ability to inspire all levels of painters. I love painting with Doris Rice. I find her to be fun, energetic, a great teacher, not overbearing but engaged, incredibly kind in critiques, always able to find the good parts, the positive parts of anybody's painting, which just makes us all want to try a little harder and paint a little more. The best part of the day, well, meat and potatoes, you have to do the painting. But then comes the end of the day when we look at the work together and the community effort is huge. There's support, there's encouragement, you find the things that are good about a painting and then you say, this would accentuate that, that would help that and between the students and the critical um, uh, pushing that I do, make this a better painting. Be more responsible to the principles and elements of painting. Uh, they didn't all go to college, art school for painting. But painting can be very linear and very mathematical. We have tools, we have a toolbox, we pull these tools out and I teach them what they are and how to use them one by one. I feel like she is the right mentor for me to help me to grow in my watercolor art. Uh, she has the patience and she's always showing me new things and, and I've just grown quite a bit just in one summer, last summer. Why do I love painting with Doris Rice? She is energetic. Uh, humorous and always upbeat. She's the best. I mean, she's a lot of people can paint, but not, not everybody can teach. And she loves teaching, as well as being a good painter. So we're very lucky to have that combination. I think in this busy society, we have to take that moment. We always say, oh, I wish I did this, or I want to do that, or boy, it's the end of the summer. I wish I'd gone to a movie. I wish I'd gone hiking. But I've always said, I mean, for years I've been saying, it'd be fun to go take an art class and to learn a little bit more about art and just try. And so this was just that opportunity to say, I, I can do this. At the end of every, every long day like this, even a short class, I'm tired because I've used a lot of words and I look into people and try to see what is it that they want? What is it that they're needing to make them a better painter? So I'm exhausted from my extroversion, but on the other hand, I'm so filled up because I see other people happy with seeing something about their world around them. And the joy is huge. It fills me up. It's a really good thing.